Hello. Hello. Sorry, you're in the show. Okay. I don't okay. care. Okay. Um, where did all of this start? You, you were obviously in rehearsals, right? Yes, uh, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to um, Europe for a month. And the reason for this tour is uh, we're going in the studio right afterwards. And I've learned from experience, and that is that if I want to record good live songs in the studio, to rehearse them well with the band first. And so we're going to Greece, and Israel, and Spain, and Portugal, and Austria, and um, coincidentally some of the countries I lived in when I was yeah, a kid yeah, yeah. too. So uh, I'm going back to see these countries I used to live in, and plus rehearse my songs, and plus at the end of the tour, which will be in a month's time, I'm going to London and start, and start tracking for the new album. You can play Joe Tourist when you get there? Of course, I am Joe Tourist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and East Germany? East Germany, uh, we're playing Berlin West and East Germany. East and West Berlin, that's right. And uh, we're playing Helsinki, lots of great places. God. It's now, great, it's, you know, this is one of the things that's nice about having lots of time to do what you want. And uh, so I'm going to go some places I've always wanted to see. and. Uh, we live some of my childhood fantasies. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, you had a, there was a boarding, you were in Portugal, wasn't it? Yeah. A boarding school. Yeah. Five, I was never in a boarding school, I, I, but I was in Portugal for five years. Oh. So, uh, that's where I learned to play soccer, Terry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. Um, <clears throat> you were obviously just finished rehearsals, so this was just like a dress rehearsal for taking it out on the road. Well, we didn't actually rehearse that much. Um, this concert was premeditated because I, you know, a young boy. Um, a lot of things come across our desk and are to our attention, and some things you take interest in, and some things you don't. Um, but this one was particularly close because it's my stepfather's relatives, and the uh, young boy is 12 years old, and he's uh, suffering from leukemia. I, I knew about leukemia, but I didn't really know a lot about it, and um, the more I found out about it, the more I found out about Chris, uh, the boy that's affected the more serious I realize this disease is. And uh, what's nice about doing what I do is I'm now in a position where I can I can make a difference, I think, a little bit of a difference anyway. Yes. And so this concert was premeditated in, in that I wanted to raise some money for leukemia research because it's not fair. Oh. It's not fair. And how, uh, how old is Chris? Chris is 12, and he's a great guy. and. Uh, it's just really sad, and I, I don't want, you know, I don't want to make a big deal about it other than that just, I want people to be aware that it's an awful disease, and we raised $20,000 tonight for this, I think it's 20, I mean, yeah. give or take a few. The thing about it is, is $20,000 can be well spent. In, well, in it'll pay for a doctor's salary. Yeah, <laughs> but, but you also shine a light on the situation as well. Right, and uh, it's, it's just a small contribution to a uh, pretty sad situation. It makes you realize how lucky you are, too. Yeah, that's the thing. But I, um, I'm not sure you want to. You might want to take that out. But, um, it's something I felt it was time to do. And uh, like I say, there's some things you do and some things you don't do. But what's nice about my job now is that <clears throat> I feel as though it's it's become. Well, for any rock star or any rock musician or musician generally that's become popular, your job is to make people happy, you know? Isn't that... Yeah. You to entertain, yeah. so uh, this is my way of making people happy. They were singing all the lyrics for you. You could have, you know, stuck... Well, we haven't played Vancouver for a few years, so... Uh, you know, every time I go to fill up my car, the guy goes, Hey, when are you playing the town? I want to go see your concert, so that's what we're doing. We played tonight and he came. God, so now you won't really, bug me anymore. You, you threw in a couple. You threw in a uh, Patsy Cline tune, Walking After Midnight. Yeah. Very nice. Where'd thought, that come from? Um, I started playing it last uh, year in Europe okay. um, for a laugh. Um, Got some nice meat to it. Yeah, actually, it's we play it sort of like The Wanderer. But, um, do you remember Dave Evans yeah, yeah, sure. and, yeah. and The Wanderer? We played it with him at the Princess Trust last year. and. Um, and so we do it sort of like that, the dun, 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 thing, you know. So that's lots of fun. And you threw in uh, <clears throat> "I Fought the Law," which I, I understand you. Well, we won't. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we threw that in. <laughs> um, and then you got John up there. Yeah, John Bon Jovi came up because he's recording in town right yeah. now. <clears throat> 
and uh, that was fun too. <laughs> I never sung with him before. You called he, the tune. He can dance it? better than I can. That's oh, for sure. hey. He does that thing with his belt. Yeah, know? yeah, he's got that little sort of uh, <laughs> Jersey ride thing. All in all, two and a half hours. Was it two and a half? Yeah. Could have been, been even longer. <laughs> I know you started at 10 15, 12 15, you hadn't even gotten rolled yet. Very it nice. was fun, yeah. Uh, we all had a good time. The band had a good time. And it's also the first night that we had Tommy Mandel, our keyboard player, um, join us on stage because yeah. I've made four albums with a guy and he's never played with us. So it was about time he joined us on tour and now he's going to do the tour on the album and hopefully become a Play Minute member. Band's ready for the road? Yes. You well, sure? How did it sound? Oh, yes. Fantastic. Yeah, it'll be okay. You going to throw in new tunes somewhere out there? Just uh, to well, get them ready? The idea for the tour yeah. is going to be to throw in a lot of new songs and uh, and rehearse them and get them feeling like the old stuff and, and feeling like a part of the show. <clears throat> we got a lot of really good songs and uh, it's going to be hard to choose them. You know. That's always but the case. What we're going to do this time, the album probably won't come out till next year sometime, so this is all a lot of hype for nothing really. But, but basically I'm going to take my time because uh, one thing I feel really good about with this last record is um, it's... It's given me the freedom to do anything I want now. I've, I really feel like I've, the doors have opened for me in any avenue. So, uh, and also feel like people aren't really itching for the next one. So I, I'm just gonna take my time and make the best record I can. Which means I'll probably do it in stages. I'll do a little bit now and then a little bit in the autumn and then mix a little bit in the winter time. That's great. That's fantastic. Yeah, well that's the way I think records should be. And I don't think you should rush it. And my advice to young musicians is don't rush it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you, you, went, you went double both feet forward when you jumped into this business. Yeah. <laughs> as fast as you could. Well, you think so, but there was a lot of you know, thought put into it, too. I mean, I may look hasty, but... <clears throat> All right. You will show up for a soccer match now and then. Yeah, I would have come last week, but right. uh, I heard you weren't playing golf for us. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking forward to the Mountain Nella concert? Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm going to be playing the concert for Nelson Mandela, but I'm not going to be doing it with my band. I'm just doing it with uh, Mid Years Band, which I think is John Deacon on bass, Phil Collins on drums, Midge on guitar, and That's great. Howard Jones on keyboards. I don't know, <laughs> something like that. <clears throat> Should be good. Okay. I guess we won't see you for a while again, huh? Uh, just call me, man. <laughs> Don't forget, we got a garage sale coming up. Yeah, right. Are you got a garage sale coming? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be sure to miss you. You want to buy my house? <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks a lot, Brian. Thanks, Terry. And your light lasted, and your power happened. And